The long-awaited group of villains turned good, anti-heroes, or even some damaged heroes, is coming to the MCU per the last Hall H from Marvel at the San Diego Comic-Con. But the real question right now is, who will be the leader of the team, as well as the members that will comprise the first iteration of the team? And what will their first task be? One that is too dirty for the well-renowned superheroes already within the MCU. This year's San Diego Comic-Con was wild, because not only did we get to see what Marvel Studios' plans are for the future of the MCU, but also because we saw their return to the infamous Hall H, which also gave us the rumored Thunderbolts movie that we all have been eager to know more about. And although not many details were shared about the movie itself, knowing the state of the MCU right now, and which characters from the Marvel Comics iteration of the team are present within the MCU, we might have an idea as to which members will be the first ones to become part of this elite group that has seen a lot of praise in the Marvel Universe in the comics. According to some sources, the movie is already in the works, with director Jake Schreier helming things. Even before the rumors about the movie started, plenty of Marvel fans knew with a lot of certainty that the infamous Thunderbolts team would surely be coming to the MCU. Part of this knowledge that many fans got was the fact that Bucky Barnes, aka Winter Soldier, who audiences believe deserves a more leadership role than what he has been given, has been present for quite some time now. The addition of new characters with gray morality also helped shape the idea of a Thunderbolts movie coming to fruition, which put together with the darker tone Phase 3 of the MCU presented itself, which seemed even back then like the perfect combination for the Thunderbolts team to make its debut within the MCU. And before we move forward, one thing that we like to note is that the Thunderbolts team in general will suffer a lot of changes when compared to the one in the comics. Whatever the case may be, you should not get discouraged right away. As from our point of view, there have been a lot of pieces that have been secretly assembled over the last couple of years, mainly concerning which of the characters within the MCU will reserve a spot in the team, as well as who the leader of the first iteration of the Thunderbolts team will eventually be. In the comics, the Thunderbolts are regarded as a group of reformed villains, a group that was formed by Baron Zemo himself after the fall of the Avengers. And as time passed, the members of the group, despite being somewhat evil on their own, started to enjoy being seen as heroes and doing good. And the chain of events eventually led to the members overthrowing Baron Zemo as their leader. The Thunderbolts' leadership and the lineup have changed a lot, as with all comic book super teams, with various members joining and leaving the team. But one thing that defined the team always stayed the same, and that was that the team was always filled with members who were far more morally gray in nature than the Avengers ever were. You jealous of us get more attention than you? <laughs> As it stands right now, no details have been shared about the actual plot of the movie. We are still in the unknown whether even a script has been written as of yet. But one thing is for sure, Marvel has a lot on their hands, as we were able to see from their latest announcements with so many projects already confirmed of coming in the upcoming years. And also, seeing how the MCU is right now with all the multiverse things and whatnot, the concept itself has a lot of ways to go with the Thunderbolts. For instance, the first thing that comes to mind is the ending of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which hinted at Baron Zemo being given a much bigger role in the future of the MCU. Thus, it is very much likely that he will be the first leader of the Thunderbolts, with the story itself being adapted straight from the comics where Baron Zemo recruits a team of villains disguised as heroes to do the dirty work no one else is willing to do. There are a lot of variables that could play on how the story will go in the movie, 
But one thing we are aiming towards is that many preceding Disney Plus shows and movies will likely set up the story for the movie to come, with us already knowing much about the members and where they stand with the other members of the Thunderbolts. And as for when the movie will be released, the date given to us, which should not be delayed any further, is the 24th of July, 2024, which will also mark the end of Phase 5 of the MCU. Right, so who should we concern as members of the Thunderbolts team when the movie drops? Well, there is Yelena Belova, and the first one to be approached by Contessa Val. Then there is John Walker, aka US Agent, Helmut Zemo or Baron Zemo, is more than certain to be part of the team, seeing how he is the one who has the most connections with the team in the Marvel comics. But one thing we still don't know about Baron Zemo is which status he will eventually hold in the movie, a member of the team or their leader, a history he has in the comics, where he was the first leader who also, as we said before, assembled the team in the first place. Another candidate for the team would be Abomination, Yet another reason why we think the MCU brought back the character, with his endeavors in the upcoming She-Hulk series possibly giving us even more information about his future in the MCU. These are our best guesses with the information given to us right now, and we are more than certain that there will be more news regarding the Thunderbolts movie and the roster of the team in the future, as more and more TV shows and movies get released before the movie drops in two years' time. According to our educated guess, we would say there were two teams that could replace the Avengers. The Thunderbolts, who are confirmed of filling in that role to some extent, or the Young Avengers, which is also the reason why we think the movie has been placed as the closing project with which the MCU's Phase 5 will end. Though you should not see this as the Avengers team being no more, as the team will be back in some form. A roster that will have some hard decisions to make when they face Kang the Conqueror at the end of Phase 6. I have no intention to leave my work unfinished. To do this, we'll have to scale a ladder. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the movie? The iteration of the team? Which one you would like to see? Which character you would like to see get appointed as the first leader of the team? But also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.